Hello Abacus users, welcome to the second part of Abacus visualization. In this video, we are going to explain the practical tips in any analysis very quickly and easily. In this section, the model we are considering is a Brazilian disk, which has a crack in the middle and is under mode 1. This mode model is familiar to mechanical engineers, right? At first, let's say that if you want to view multiple viewports in one screen, what should you do? You can select Create from the Viewport menu twice. After that, you have to select Tile vertically from the Viewport menu. Now, you have three viewports as you see here. If you choose Link Viewports, you can link all viewports together. As you see, you can show one variable in three views. Also, I can show different views and variables of my model. I can show the stress values in the first view. And over here, I can select displacement value. Or you can show the animation of your work. You can also increase or decrease the speed of your animation as you can see. Faster or slower. Now I only need one view to continue, so I close the rest. If you want to select a part of the model and write something next to it, you can select Create Annotation from the Viewport menu and click Continue. Then I can choose the location of the arrow, for example here. I can just put any annotation that I want. For example, Crack Front. Also, we can select the front and size as you see. This Abacus TV is very useful for specifying and showing the selected part to others. But if you want to delete this annotation, you can do it by selecting the Edit Annotation option. Then you can select the annotation and right-click on it. Edit it or delete it. Let's say that I would like to see which part of the structure is failed. If you click on the contour options, you would be able to modify some things. This legend is divided into 12 different values, but you can increase or decrease it. See? Typically, I would like to use the continuous. It looks better. If you choose quilt, variable values are extrapolated to element faces on the surface of your model with no averaging between elements. You see very different if you choose ISO surface or line. The most important option here is the limits tab. Let me modify the maximum of my legend to 235 megapascals, which is the yield value of this material, and specify the minimum to zero. So if I do that and click apply, anywhere exceeding 235 megapascals turns into gray. Let's talk about extracting data. To do this, I can click on Create XY Data and choose ODB History Output. We selected some variables from the History Output in the Step module. And now, you can see all the outputs we are looking for are located in this section. For example, for K1, you can click on it and select the Plot option. As you can see here, the value of K1 is shown. You can see the value of K2 by selecting it and clicking on Plot. Now, if you want to see their numerical value, just double-click on the displayed values in XY Manager. It is K2 value. And for K1, we should select it again to see its value. like this. 
As you can see, the value of K1 is much higher than K2, which indicates mode 1. If you want to have several values together simultaneously on one screen, you can select the first value you want and press and hold the Shift key and select the last value like this. Then select Plot. As you can see, these are K1 values. And you can see their numerical values as before. These are K1 values for different contours. I think you get it, right? Okay. Now, to tell you more interesting points, I need to open a new model. The new model is a rectangular structure with crack. Here is the crack. We need to set the contour option here as default. So, how can we extract data? As you know, we can do from this icon here says Create XY Data. If you select ODB Field Output and click Continue, you can select the variable you want, like the stress and strain. So we should select the unique nodal to select a node and see its stress and strain values. In the Elements Nodes tab, you can select nodes or elements you desire with different methods. You can pick them from the viewport, select them by entering their labels, select a node set or by inter uh, internal sets. So I select one point like this to find its stress and strain. If you click on save, then Abacus is telling you that XY data will be extracted from the field output. Here are the strain and stress values. Let me delete previous value. OK. So if you double click on each of these, you can see their values in the specific time. Also you can extract this data, for example, to Excel. How can we do that? We should go to Plugins menu and select Tools, then select Excel Utilities. Then you need to select which data you want to export to Excel. Click Apply and here you go. The Excel file is ready. This column determines time and they are strain values. Also, these are stress values. Now, if we want to plot the stress strain diagram in Abacus, how can we do that? To do this, we should select Operate on XY Data from Create XY Data Toolset. Now, if you scroll down and click on Combine, inside the parentheses, you need to provide the X data and Y data. Click Plot. And here is a strain stress diagram for one node of our model. Thanks for being with us. We hope these tips are useful for you. Please don't forget to subscribe on our channel and wait for a new episode.